Okay, salam alaikum. So today we are going to talk about uh, non-sequential programming, and basically we are going to talk about repetition, which is a, a for loop, while loop, and do while loop. So uh, first of all, we are going to uh, discuss the repetition structures. We are going to talk about loops, while, and do while loops, and how to consider or which one to choose depending on the situation we are going to talk about. Now. Assume that we want to sum the numbers from 1 to 100, okay? So we will use repetition uh, to sum the values from 1 to any given value. First, remember a few things. You need to always initialize, okay? You need to initialize your variable. From where do you want to start counting, okay? Then you want to initialize the total value and initialize the counting, initialize the total value, then you need to think about the increment and decrement. When it comes to repetition, three things you need to think about. First is from where to start, then when to end, and then what is my increment? Of course, increment or decrement. So if I ask you to go and run, so if I tell you go and run, you are going to tell me where to start and where to end and how many times you want me to go, how many laps you want me to go. So if I tell you run around the campus, start at the engineering building and go till the main gate and come back five times. So you need to know three things when it comes to, um, uh, when it comes to repetition. So first, we are going to get the integer, how many numbers we want to do. Then we initialize the total. Remember, we need to initialize the total. If you do not initialize the total, you will end up with a beginning a starting value, which is a rubbish value then you need to inc start your counter at count number one and repeat until you go so the uh, uh, syntax is as follows here enter the number okay so we initialize the total which is equal to zero and we want to sum the numbers from one up to n Okay, sum the numbers from one up to n. Now, this is my for loop. For loop, integer count is equal to one. This is my starting point. Okay, this is my stopping condition. And this is my increment. So, I will start at counter number one. If my counter number one is less than n, I will go and execute. This is my gate to the loop. This one should be always satisfied. This expression should be always true. Now, once I end, I will go and increment or decrement or apply whatever operation is given over here. So this is my basically my for loop. This will sum the numbers between one and n. So this is once more, this is, this is my initial value, this is my stopping condition, and this is my increment and decrement. Three things should be always available when it comes to loops. So a sample run here, if I put n is equal to 5, I will get 15. If I put n is equal to 100, I will get 150. So the for loop, the for loop contains the following. First, this is my initial value, okay? This is my initial value. This is my initialization expression. It's called initialization, initial value. القيمة الابتدائية, القيمة المبدئية. من وين راح أبدأ العد؟ راح أبدأ العد من عند واحد. This is my initial value. This is my loop condition. I need to satisfy this condition in order to access the loop. يعني, if this condition is not satisfied, I cannot access the loop. If this condition is not satisfied, I cannot access the loop. And finally, this is my 
step yani increment 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 or you want me to decrement or you want to go in twos you want to go in fours we are going to see all of these as our examples so we have initialization we have the expression we have our increment decrement we have either one statement or as we did with the if statement a block of statements as you can see over here so this is an example you can see integer i for i is equal to 1 so i start at i is equal to 1 i is less than or equal to 3 i plus plus c out i so the output we will start at i is equal to 1 is i less than 3 yes so on my output screen here i'm going to say i is equal to 1 then i will go and increment now the new value of i is i is equal to 2 is i less than 3 less than or equal to 3 yes so i will have i is equal to 2 then i will increment i will equal to 3 is i less than or equal to 4 uh, sorry to 3 yes so i will going to write i is equal to 3 then i'm going to increment the new value of i is i is equal to 4 is i less than or equal to 3 no so i'm going to exit the loop and go and then see out this is outside loop so this is my output okay so this is my output now this program okay this program is the same but as you see here we have a block so we are going to execute these two instructions and it will display the same output as you can see over here so another example you can see here for integer i is equal to 1 i is less than 4 plus plus i c out i is equal to i now the output here we start at i is equal to 1 is i less than 4 yes so on my output screen i'm going to say i is equal to 1 then increment i i is equal to 2 is i less than 4 yes then we are going to display i is equal to 2 then increment i i is equal to 3 so is i less than 4 yes we are going to display 3 now increment i i is equal to 4 then is 4 less than 4 no 4 is not less than 4 so we are going to exit and our output the same so in the condition if you say i is less than or equal to 3 or i is less than 4 they are both will give you both of them will give you the same because they are equivalent now some for a statement examples as you can see here some of the integers from 1 to 3 uh, inclusive so integer i is equal to 1 i is less than 4 see I, we said here i is less than 4 we can say also i is less than or equal to 3 uh, plus plus i sum is equal to sum plus i see out i is equal i sum is equal okay so if we start at i is equal to 1 is i less than 4 yes so we enter so sum will equal to sum which is 0 plus i 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 then on my output screen I'm going to have i is equal to 1 okay there is no end line so sum will equal to 1 then we go for i is equal to 2 is 2 less than 4 yes so i sum will equal to 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 so we are going to display i is equal to 2 sum is equal to 3 then we are going to go for i is equal to 3 sum will equal to uh, i plus sum so 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6 so we are going to say is 3 less than 4 yes so i will equal to 3 sum will equal to 6 then we are going to increment i to 4 is i is 4 less than 4 no so we are going to display then after the loop sum is equal to 6 okay after the loop 
sum will equal to 6 as you can see here as our output um, this is the same one but here we are doing i from 1 to 11 see if you do a loop and you create the loop the loop will run for three values the loop will run for 10 values the same but just changing this value so we have the run the loop running for all the numbers so it's not a matter of um, uh, complexity if you just create a loop for one for three values for one value for ten values for one thousand values it will run the same way now we have something called nested loops in nested loops we have a loop inside a loop so for example here for integer value is equal to one value one is less than n one value one plus plus for integer value two is equal to one value two is less than n two value 2 plus plus c out value 1 multiplied by value 2 is equal to value 1 as e uh, multiplied by value 2 end line so let, let's take a run on this one so n1 is equal to 2 n3 is equal to 4 so value 1 we start with this one value 1 is equal to 1 is 1 less than 2 yes okay so we go into this statement value 2 is equal to 1 is 2 less than 3 yes so we go for the c out in the c out okay I'm, put, I'm going to put my c out over here on the c out I'm going to say value 1 which is 1 multiplied by value 2 which is 1 is equal to value 1 multiplied by value 1 which is 1 then increment value 2 so value 2 will equal to 2 is 2 less than n2 what is n2 3 is 2 less than 3 yes so we are going to execute this statement once more so we have value 1 is equal to 1 value 2 is equal to 2 which is equal to 2 then we are going to increment value 2 so value 2 will equal to 3 now is 3 less than 3 yes so we are going to multiply 1 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 3 we increment value 2 now value 2 will equal to 4 is 4 less than 3 no so we exit and we go back to value 1 and increment value 1 so value 1 will equal to 2 is 2 less than n1 less than or equal to n1 yes so we are going to go for value 2 is equal to 2 value 2 is equal to 1 from the beginning we go back over here value 2 is equal to 1 is 1 less than 3 yes so we are going to multiply 2 by 1 2 by 2 and 2 by 3 this is again the nested if loop uh, statements and this is a, a count for what is happening here again so for here i is equal to 1 i is less than 3 i plus plus j is equal to 0 j is equal less than 2 plus plus j we start with i equal to 1 is 1 less than 3 yes so for, for these values we are going to do j0 j1 j0 and j1 then increment i for 2 and we are going to do j0 j1 and then increment i equal to 3 we are going to do j0 and j1 and your output will be as here okay so this is your output as you can see the continuous statement will skip the rest of the loop and go to the beginning of the loop the continuous statement will basically skip the rest of the loop and go to the beginning of the loop and the break statement will exit the break loop this is uh, especially important when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, loops that are infinite we need always a break statement to exit our infinite loop so we are going to stop here on the non-counting loop and continue in the second part.